Okay, so I just wanted to do this video. I'm about to throw away a bunch of Scientific Americans and National Geographics that I get from work with their covers torn off. And so I just want to go through not a lot of analysis, just the sort of things that they cover. So here they're covering like spy satellites and spying and surveillance. And one of the things I, I saw was they had this uh, tracking area for satellites that they built in uh, Arizona and the just looking at you know the, what they show as satellites going overhead you know this would just be a, a portion of them that they're tracking for themselves uh, how you know if we're supposed to be seeing the glinting of satellites as they go across the sky we see these things tracking across the sky that are not planes, as we are told, anyways. If there's this many going across the sky, the sky would be crisscross with dots moving across the sky. So that's just one thing I saw. And they get into, like, land mass, and there's a real big focus on satellites. So that was one aspect of things. Uh... See, that's a, a, another thing was this <laughs> Israeli ad for Israel, and the, this is a National Geographic. Uh, so that's interesting. And they have this thing on uh, the school shootings and good and evil. And what is the tagline? What makes people especially giving or cruel? Researchers say the way our brains are wired can affect how much empathy we feel for others. Which is, this is all just BS. You know, they get into Sandy Hook. Um, these black and white photos, just, you know, oh my goodness. Pulse Nightclub, which is another, you know, load of crap. So I don't even know what this is, some sort of... And anyways, and these... They focus a lot on birds, I notice. There's, every issue has something about birds. I don't know if it's just a neutral subject. But uh, I always think of, I think it was, I want to say Francis Bacon, someone like this. The reason we have such a affinity for birds is because after the flood, humans and birds were on mountaintops, closely, close together, having kind of a close lifestyle, let's say. I don't know if that's true or not, but I always think about that. And what do we have here? Some false... Uh, white supremacist, he's an atheist, uh, and he doesn't talk about the, um, the Jewish situation, you know, uh, so this guy's just obviously a tool, uh, Anyways, I just thought that was interesting. Okay. Move onward here. This is about AI. And they just go into, like, tests they're doing to, uh, you know, have this, like, little cute little picture. Uh, on Turing, they get into all this stuff. But how to tell what, how you are human. Maybe that's just having a soul, I guess. But, uh, it's your echo... This thing, of course it is. Oh, and I should say, right next to that, well, they also have this, uh, some, yeah, whatever. Uh, right next to this, your echo is listening, they have this uh, hearing aid. <laughs> All right. And they have Pluto. I noticed they have the, the nose is not quite as apparent in this, uh, this picture, the nose of Pluto. Uh, what else they got going on in this issue? Picasso, genius, psycho, more like. Um, how well do films? They're picking up on a lot of things that people talk about. <sighs> Uh, online, just trying to play catch up, trying to spin it, uh, and they go through 
a bunch of things here. Um, but so it's that and they get into conspiracy they call it the echo chamber conspiracy theories what can be done to stop them people waking up and looking around that's what they really want to stop and they show some kid here lost in some sort of machinations and oh but the thing they, they have here is like a little tagline Conspiracy thinking arises when people find themselves unable to determine simple causes for complex, adverse circumstances. Oh my god, that's so true, I just don't know what to think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what they're, they're deflecting here. They're like saying, if you see something that's going on, if you look behind the, uh, the uh, to see that there's a, what's controlling the puppets, you shouldn't look behind there because... It's uh, seriously, uh, the puppets are, uh, you know, living beings, you know. Uh, I think they're just, it's just this sort of thing. Don't drink the water. They're talking about PFCs. Did they talk about fluoride in this thing? No. Of course they don't. Time to worry about anthrax again. What is truth anyways? Well, okay. This is Michael Shermer, who's, uh, you know, full of BS. Uh, the universe began with the Big Bang. Truth, we, yeah, right. Did not begin with the Big Bang. What about religious trees? Uh, propaganda, universal flu vaccine is vital. La di da. This is, uh, what is this? Lower emissions. Because of all the chemtrails, which have nothing to do with normal planes, wearable data. Yeah, that would be so great, wouldn't it? Just tracking, they have a thing on Darwin here. And the reason we can trust, which is Freemasonic. Free thinkers. As long as you think what you're told. Our sm smartphones really destroying the adolescent brain. Reality isn't so simple. That's a probably is that simple uh, tribalism of truth and here let me see if we can get to the end of this article where uh, there's no single objective truth and different answers can be equally right it just fits right in with what they, they take you anywhere they want you can't have an opinion essentially and diabetes anyways <laughs> and these people are going to be dying out soon, so let's do an article on them. All right.